It's not every day I feel like something truly new enters the gaming world. A lot of games are copy repaste of the same assets with their own unique spin on the story or slight variations of the gameplay. That's never a problem if there's enough variation to truly make it an original entry. But then there are titles like Paleo Pints, who are seeking to break out of the normal and make something that stands out among the crowd. How have they done that? Dinos. Welcome to our first impressions of Paleo Pines. If you haven't heard of this one, it's a life sim that blends your traditional farming aspects with, <laughs> you guessed it, dinos. Yep, your cute cuddly friends from Jurassic Park are now here to help you clear, farm, and decorate your very own dino ranch. Don't worry, they won't take your head off in the process. At least, they haven't yet. You will want to keep them fed and happy though, otherwise they'll be wandering back off to the wilds and leaving you without any help around the farm. You might think, who needs them? But this game gates your ranch renovations behind your fair treatment of the dino populace. So unless you want to be sleeping in a rundown shack, staring at wood fragments and bushes as tall as you are, we suggest you go and make some friends. We know they might seem a bit intimidating at first, but trust me, you'll get attached to their cute butt wiggles by day two. And if that doesn't do it, maybe their adorable purrs will. All jokes aside, Paleo Pines offers a creative system that requires you to befriend a dino of each helper type in order to reach maximum efficiency on the farm. It also allows you to unlock the secrets of the world and opens up new paths to new places and new dinos. There are a total of 38 species of dinos and believe me, it'll take you a while to catch them all. Though don't feel like you need to, we found that befriending two of each helper type was more than sufficient to build a beautiful dino paradise and fully explore the world. For extra fun, they all come in varying colors and patterns with differing rarities, so if you're into shiny hunting, <laughs> we wish you luck now. Speaking more about the world, it is big, offering three different zones in varying biomes, and don't worry, there's a map for if you get lost. Each zone offers multiple dino species to find, research, and take home if you choose. Make sure to bring some poppins in their favorite flavor though, they won't come so quietly if you don't. Aside from the dinos themselves, you'll find tons of collectibles, artifacts to research, windmills to rebuild, and scenic places to sit down and eat some dino snacks with your oversized friends. Or undersized, because tiny dinos. Once you've enjoyed your day exploring, head home to make your new friend a pasture to their liking. Add a sleeping patch, their favorite cozy decorations, and watch the biome transform into a personal dino paradise. Continue to feed them, pet them, play them your favorite tune. Wait, wrong game? And eventually they'll become your bestie and let you ride them. You can then use their helper abilities to till, water, harvest, and after all that's done, clean up the farm to make room for more friends. Worried about what to do with all the space you have after the dino ranch is cleared? Go spend your hard-earned shells in one of the two villages and purchase everything from different types of fences, decorative bookcases and table settings, to beautiful ponds and flowers that your dinos will romp around and play in. If you're more into gardening and less into dinos, don't worry, you can still do all that by yourself if you want. What's unique about your character is that instead of passing out like in every other farming sim, you'll simply fall to your behind anytime you're a little too fatigued to water your plants. Despite that, you keep calm and carry on, not stopping until the job is done. There's 44 crops to find, plant, and research as well, so you've got your work cut out for you if you want to be growing the best paleo potatoes in the village. If you're a top chef, you can even take your ingredients and throw them in a cooking pot to whip up something yummy for you, your neighbors, or the dinos. Interested in building your relationship with the local townsfolk? Well, you're in luck because they all have a flower you can fill out to increase their fondness of you. We've been playing for a while now and we're only just becoming pals with a few of them, so be prepared to work. There are no dating options in this game though, so keep your longing gazes in check. You have apparently installed trackers on your neighbors though, and you can always find them by taking a quick peek in your guide. A few of them prefer to spend most of their time in town, which is good because you can pick up quests at the boards while there. Yep, if you're willing to run some errands for your neighbors, they'll offer some awesome rewards. In fact, we found completing quests was the best way to get multiple types of decorative items and a consistent flow of shells in order to sponsor the mouths of our hungry friends. There's a fresh set of quests every day, so don't worry, you'll be well occupied. Oh, and if you run out of room to hold all the stuff they give you, don't worry, it'll be sent straight back to your farm because they're just that nice. What are our own impressions of Paleo Pines? Well, we'll include more thoughts in the final review a month from now, but we've lost over 30 hours of our life to this game already and have yet to get bored of farming, researching, making friends, and so much more. There's so many quality of life features that you don't normally find in this genre, and in all of our hours have only experienced one small bug. 
That's after going through all the areas and fully exploring them as well. So a pretty big win. We're still working on researching all the crops and befriending more of the townsfolk. There's also plenty more to do on the farm to upgrade and beautify it. So we're nowhere near finished after those 30 hours. There's even pieces of the main story we're working on completing. Basically expect tons of gameplay. We want to thank the development team for allowing us into their early access experience. It's been incredible. And if you want to get a firsthand look at how responsive their team is and how welcoming the community is, navigate to the description and join their discord. It's a plethora of resources for all things Paleo Pines, so it's worth it to join. The other creators in there are fantastic as well, so expect to make some friends. That's going to be it for this video, and as we stated, you can expect a much deeper breakdown in our final review. But for now, tell us what your favorite dinosaur is in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Until next time!